Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Reso World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to download and set up the Liberty Photo app for iOS. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the App Store at the top left corner. Then we're going to hit the search button at the bottom right. We'll search for the Liberty Photo app. I just type in Resale World. Uh, so I can see all the apps that we have. And you'll be able to tap that first option there. And I'm going to scroll down until I see the Liberty Photo app. So we're going to tap this icon on the top right. This app is completely free. And the icon will look different depending on if you've already downloaded it before. Uh, if not, it'll just ask you to get. So we'll go ahead and tap that. It's going to download the app. So you'll be able to open the app from here, but if we swipe up from the bottom or we hit our home button, there we go. Now we're ready to set up the app. So from here, I'm gonna open up the photo app. And you'll get a notification that asks you if you'd like, to, if you'd like the app to send you notifications. We'll go ahead and tap allow on this. And now we're gonna set up the host name, IP address, and authorization key. So we're going to go ahead and jump back to our computer. Okay, so now we need to find what the IP address is of our server computer. So on our server computer, we're going to click the network icon. It's either going to look like a fan blade if you're on Wi-Fi, or it's going to look like a computer with a plug. It's usually located at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click mine. Mine's Wi-Fi. And then at the currently connected network, you'll see properties. So we're going to click on properties. Now we just scroll down and the IPv4 address is the IP address that the app is going to use to connect. So we're going to make a note of that. I'm just going to open up my notepad here. I'll put this off to the side a bit. And I'm going to say our server address is 10.59.0.53. Now we have to create an authorization key uh, using the Liberty Mobile Admin app. So we can go ahead and click on the, or we can close out of the settings option here, and then we can click start and then just type in mobile. And there's the Liberty Mobile Admin Center. So I'm gonna open this up. And then we're gonna click maintain authorized devices. It's important to note, yes, you do need an admin account to access this. I unlocked my RWD account so I can get in. From here, we're gonna go ahead and add an iDevice. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Device. I'll say this is an iPhone 10. All right, so now we have our device authorization key here. Uh, we're going to write this down so we have it. You can also copy it to your clipboard. So I'm just going to click this copy button and then we'll paste it over here. All right. Now back to our iDevice. So for host name, you can type in anything you want. Uh, mine's going to just be server. For the IP address, this is what we got earlier. So this is uh, for my computer was 10.59.0.53. And then for the authorization key, uh, we'll type in the one that we got from the Liberty Mobile Admin Center. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tap validate server. It'll also ask if you'd like to find and connect devices to your local network, we can go ahead and click okay. 
All right, the next thing we're going to get is a connection successful dialog here to show that we're actually connected to the photo app. Now we're going to sign in. Uh, so I'm just going to use my RWD account for my username and my RWD account for my password. You can go ahead and type in remember me so that way it, it knows your login information. And then we're going to tap sign in. We can go ahead and tap continue on this. And now we're ready to start using our Liberty Photo app. This was a video on how to download and set up the Liberty Photo app for iOS.